Well, good evening, everyone. Dr. Freedom here with the Times from Dr. News, news from in and around the universe. It may or may not affect you on some strange level that could only be described as phenomenal. Not only phenomenal, but fabulous. Okay, um, lots of interesting stuff going on in the universe, a little interesting things here and there. Of course, everybody is in high anticipation of this week's episode, Lie of the Land, where we might even have a regeneration but everyone's like how is that possible when peter capaldi is going to be in christmas well had to find out won't we um like i said oh i saw someone the other day and i'm like all my sources are clamped up solid i'm not kidding there nobody is talking and I'm, they literally have people in fear of their jobs if things leak out and i'm sorry i'm not going to make somebody lose their job in the real world just for the sake of getting a spoiler. I, I, that's not how I roll, and I'm not going to do it. Also, um, s there was a bunch of fan wink running around on Gallifrey Base. Um, somebody was passing this thing around that basically said that the original plan was to do Series 10 last year as a series of nine episodes. Peter Capaldi had apparently going to be fired by the BBC and that they were going to bring in Tilda Swinton for one series as the Doctor for nine episodes. And I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, like I said, total fan wink. Um, all they did was they mixed in parts that we already know to be true, such as, yes, they will be filming this November. That comes from, uh, for, I always get his first name wrong, Edward, uh, I think it's Edward Russell and multiple other sources. And, but the problem is we don't know when the show is going to air in 2018. If they're shooting for a spring thing, November is kind of late to start shooting. So we'll have to find out. We're going to be getting more info. And trust me, as I get it, you'll get it. You know, because that's one thing people can talk about a little is because that's not really spoilers. That's just saying when the show's coming back. All right. So get, keep your, the problem is, like I said, what they'll do is they'll sit down, these guys, and they'll write some shit out that's fully made up. They'll mix in a little bits of stuff we already know to be true to make it sound like it's legitimate. Um, I think someone once said the best lies are the ones that have a bit of truth in it, and that's how they work. So, all right, but you're sitting there going, when's he going to get to the news? It's getting boring. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get to what I have. Let's get what I do have. Let's take a look at this. But he... First off, teeing off, we have Radio Times has changed the Empress of Mars airtime. It is now being listed at 7.15 to 8 p.m. on the, this um, June 10th. So something happened to move the time about. So, you know, shit happens. It happens. Things get rescheduled. That's not a biggie. All right. Thank early letters for that one. Like I said, I, if, you, if you're ever around on Twitter, you want to find out a lot about Doctor Who, this is the person to go to. I'm not kidding. I find out a lot of stuff about the show from girly letters that I can't find anywhere else sometimes. So I always scan girly letters as, and by the way, it is a man. All right. Just to stir a clarifier. Right. So moving on pyramid, the end of the world behind the scenes footage or sorry, images. Sorry. I thought there was a video I forgot. And some really nifty ones here, but also go back. You're going to have to scan through Twitter on the DWSR tag, mine your way through a bunch of sad little trolls. And then finally you'll get to some of the stuff that was shot by, by you know, fans who are on site and Tenerife that week. Um, I have to go find them. I think I still have a little bit of them over on the Dr. Freedom Facebook page. Okay, this is over on the MYM booth. And this is the Lie of the Land spoiler preview. This is, they're giving this one three and a half out of five stars. It feels like turn left, though it doesn't have quite as much fun exploring this alternate Earth right there. You see, spoiler alert, it's, it, duh, it's more plot driven. Also like turn left, it's an episode largely carried by the Doctor's current prime companion, in this case, Bill. She has some great acting workouts. It opens with a very chilling blah, blah, blah. Also, there's a thing down here that says Missy makes demands. Or, sorry, it is. Missy makes a list of demands. Doctor looks like he's recreating a scene from Lost World Jurassic Park 2 at one point. Um, and and he re he's rarely looked quite too unhinged. So, Bill has a great excuse for not handing her essay in. You know, little clues, these are little teasers. But right here, they... They're listing it as this alternate. Earth. I'm really, really hoping they ain't going to do something stupid like make it all simulation. All right, Lie of the Lamp, Publicity Image. And these are all stuff right off Doctor Who News. So i got to check this poster. Look at it. Oh, he's in my face. Okay. So really good stuff there. 
Moving on, extremist official ratings. Okay, listed by, listed out by the BARB, aka the Broadcasters Audience Research Board. Extremists received an official rating of five point three at five three million viewers. That does that's basically that's all includes all who recorded the program and watched it within seven days. It became twentieth most programmed for the week and eighth most watched on BBC One. That ain't good. I ain't got a lie idea. That particular one is not. That did not come out good. Now I know this week's overnights for uh, what you call it, Pyramid at the End of the World. We're around 4.01 million, which means I could see maybe about six when it's all added up. But remember, don't freak out. People are mainly watching shit on the computer these days. All right, and I love this stuff that pages are doing now, or they'll blot out the entire page now. We've noticed you're using an ad blocker, so we're going to screw with you. Piss off. I'm not kidding. If they think I'm going to turn that damn ad blocker off and be bu so bombarded by ads that even my new system, which has 10 gigs of RAM, gets slowed down for, they can just suck my cucumber. All right. Doctor fan shocked after Bill shoot, shoots the doctor in the trailer for this week's episode. And this is a carried on theme. There's a lot of people freaking out over this. Matter of fact, we're going to go into this in a second again. So once again, though, keep in mind it's the mirror, so it's no great loss. I just threw it in because people, this is a, this has been mentioned on multiple different things now. All right, okay. Even Doctor Who is trolling Trump now, and they're making fun of the orange comment. And look at this huge article. Wow. Why am I still scrolling? Where, where is the meat of this? But this is the Huffington Post. Oh, that's right, my ad blocker is on. <laughs> and even the Huffington Post is mentioned in the Trump dig. Get over it, folks. Our president is an embarrassment. I hate to say this. I'm an American citizen, and I'll look you all dead in the face right now. The president of the United States we currently have is an embarrassment. And if the other one had been put in office, it would have been even worse. You had a choice between the thief and the con man. And it's like, see, no real – it's kind of balancing out. Either way, we were screwed over. I'm not getting – it just wasn't going to happen. Yeah, That's how ridiculous it's gotten over here. You know, you, you guys over there are great, but, you know, those, especially you guys who like to make fun of Teresa, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, moving on. All right, here we go again. Shock as fans here, fear companion Bill has killed the doctor. And this is on the Express. Um, okay, and they go in a little bit, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then you, you hear in the, in the ending shot, and it's like, what the hell? But they've got a few more images and stuff. And the doctor will be shot to death next week. Could that mean regeneration time, 1935, doctor who posted another? A third added, it's weird that we, you know, he wouldn't even normally get shot in the finale. And but the, oh my goodness, I can't wait for next week. And on the trailer, the doctor gets shot, regeneration. So they've got people on the hook. You see, I remember what they did with Tenet back in Stolen Earth. You know, Stolen Earth, what do you call it? Uh, sheesh, uh, Journey's End. Remember that nifty little thing, regeneration, and you know, they cut at the end. That's basically, I think, what they're doing. I, I, it, there's a rumor going around. I can't substantiate it, but I've been hearing it from like two or three different places that when Capaldi gets shot, that this turns out that he does regenerate, but into like a female doctor. But you're only going to get a female doctor for like 20 minutes or so to the end of the episode. Then somehow it's all retconned. I don't know if that's true. Like I said, none of my good sources are talking. So keep this as rumor for now. Don't go running to the streets going, oh, my God, what did he say? No. Keep it in your rumor file, all right? I'm not going to lie. Rumor file. If it actually pans out, okay, then I've got a couple sources I can go to every now and then. If it doesn't, then I will. They're going to get added into the reject bin, just like other people have. Okay, moving on. Whew. Didn't I just go over these? Hang on a second. Oh, wait a minute. All right, so well, that's right. I forgot to mention on that article, the one that has the lie of the land images. They also have down here the broadcast details. So I'm kind of glad I accidentally put this one up twice So because uh, I forgot to mention this. So once again, you look, you look at what area in the world you are. This will tell you what time it's airing and on what network, all right? And I think lastly for today... And they're trying to put together when the Capaldi regeneration takes place. And so far, judging off the, the, the uniforms, the soldiers and all that, it looks like this mock regeneration scene or whatever they've pieced together that it is happening this weekend. No, duh. 
right there's one of the monks in statue form for crying out loud. Oh, yeah, Sherlock frickin' Holmes. Hercule damn Poirot. Oh, yeah, you are such a genius. Oh, I think. All right, so once again, we got Fan Wink coming off Gallifrey Base. Rumors about the regeneration thing going on this weekend. Um, also, I'm just about done. Like I said, this week's this you know this week. Oh, sorry, not this week, but I mean this chapter of Death Moon coming up. Death Moon Eleven is not going to have any real action or anything. It's going to be a sitting down and deciding on a course of action that's going to bring us to our day new one. What you got? Hang on, what? what? Hey, let me try that again. See the other day new boy. I think it's a reflex. Um, so yeah, this is gonna decide on the course of action. There's gonna be a lot of touching dramatic scenes, but also some very, very dark material. Um, like I said, you're gonna find out what Zulite crystals are, you're gonna find out where Ho what Hoagland base was, what it was about. You're also gonna find out the secret of Tanamaku, the death moon. And it's going to be, like I said, some really dark shit. And like, it's not a happy ending. We're talking, it's, well, maybe a happy ending in the sense of you were dumb enough to go to that trailer park in the middle of the night, kind of happy ending. But, okay. Oh, my God. How can you do this to me? Oh, I'm getting out of here for a dozen again. Everybody, good night. Have a good one.